Good morning everyone. Welcome back to Vlogmas. One of the last Vlogmases, could be the last one, who knows. What day is it? It is Thursday 22nd. And I shot myself in the foot a bit because I filmed, I thought I was so smart filming yesterday and uploading, but now I've kind of like, either I, I stick with the editing the day I filmed, you know what I mean. So who knows, but this hair is get to girl. It's so greasy because, well, it's not. I washed it yesterday. I spent ages washing it and then I blow dried it and I made it really cute and flicky and, you know. And then I went for a facial, which you would have seen, and then there was all oil in my hair. It was my own fault. I shouldn't have washed my hair the same day I got a facial. So let's go sort this hair out. I've booked myself a wash and blow dry, a little pre Christmas treat to myself, and I mean, anything's gonna look better than this, isn't it? So let's go and get it done my camera is flashing battery so i'm going to take my phone and i'm going to leave the camera on charge but i will show you the good stuff when i'm home what a transformation oh nothing dramatic i just wanted to have a how do i explain it i don't i never know what to ask for i'm like a very hands visual talking person when they're like what kind of what kind of style do you want i'm like you know just bouncy not curly not straight just sleek when it's just there's no frizz but i feel so much better i've put on some makeup as well just did like a little tiktok get rid of me and it's amazing what a little bit of hair and makeup can do so yeah that's literally me having done my hair and makeup for absolutely nothing i mean i'm going to dinner tonight with cass's family just like a little pre christmas bash and yeah that's it i actually really want to take some pictures by the Christmas tree before it completely dies on me and I have seen quite a few like pregnancy photos in front of the Christmas tree and then a year later obviously you do the same pose but with the baby which I really really want to remember to do so I might go for that obviously I can only do the first half but yeah, so I'm thinking, I don't, I literally feel like I don't put makeup and do my hair anymore. I just, lost my mojo. I just like being chill, not having anything on my face. Look at my skin, by the way, from yesterday. Obviously, I've got makeup on, but I just feel like it's doing good at the moment. I really like this hair colour too, even though I really want to try that tint. Anyways, so I might get a little bit of content and it just makes me feel good when I can take a cute pic, you know. And I got a couple of deliveries, which I want to go through in a sec with you guys. Let's open these deliveries now because I'm keen to see. I know what this is because I've been waiting for it. P.S. Who knew that Matalan delivered? I did not know that. This is definitely one of my impulse buys. I literally was looking for their website because I saw someone that I follow got something from there and they linked it and I just ended up browsing on the whole website. <laughs> and then this just ended up in my basket. How the hell am I gonna get this out? Come on! Oh! Right, I am a sucker for anything with storage. I just love the idea of being able to store stuff everywhere. And also I like a multi-function item. This is cute. So this is a, I still don't know to this day how you say this word. Is it bol clay? I know some people just literally call it borg. So I think I'm just gonna go with borg, but like that faux sheepskin kind of vibe. And then it's, um, it's so it could be a chair. Well, I hope it could be a chair. Yeah, I don't see why not. And then it's also obviously a storage little thing. And I'm just thinking when my wardrobe's done, it could go in there. And it's a really nice size. And I just feel like you can't go wrong with this material. So yeah, I saw this on Matalan. It was £70. Is that good? I just think it's quite good that it's multifunctional, you know. You kind of get in two for the price of one. I love a home buy. Oh, they call it a Teddy Shapira Ottoman in cream. So if it's still in stock, I'll link it down below. 
They had some little like stall versions, like little round ones, which were also Ottoman, but they were sold out. I actually really liked them as well. But here we go, what do we think? <laughs> I just can't decide which temperature light I like. I think we'll go warm, because I just look so pale if not. Two more parcels I've got today. Oh, this is gonna be cute, I think. I mean, it's so hard when I buy something and I don't know what size I'll be in because obviously bump now and I still like to buy normal god there's no way on god's earth you're gonna be able to see what this kind of dress is so I'll find the picture on the website and insert it because honestly no shade it just looks like a rag at the moment just honestly it's the material but it's a dress and I, I want to have a maternity kind of shoot at some point and also we definitely want to be going away in January so I thought this would be really cute for when bumps a lot more bumpier which in the next month should probably be popping so this is from C Cuckoo and when I saw it I was like oh my god that is the most beautiful dress I've ever seen I absolutely love it so that is what that's for that is obviously not for me to be prancing around the house in. Oh, my feet. And then one more come today. I've actually been doing a fair bit of online shopping lately, which needs to stop. Like, I've ordered a lot. I feel like things aren't as cheap as they used to be. So I got, this is just like a little gym set. That's one thing I'm really, really struggling to fit in, is like gym not even gym leggings because I don't necessarily want to wear gym leggings but I have leggings on now but they're like cotton anything that's that kind of um like my brain's gone dead I don't know just more of the sporty glossy material you know not cotton basically it just doesn't it just doesn't fit so I went on Adenola and I've just ordered some really big stuff to be honest this is in XL because my boobs are no joke at the moment. I love this colour. What is this colour called? Marshmallow White. What a colour name. So hopefully that fits. What did I get the leggings in? A large. Now I got some bits from Gymshark very kindly the other day and it just didn't fit. It just didn't. And I can't remember what size. Oh, that looks okay. Maybe I'll try this on. I think. It's hard because I don't mind wearing it if it's tight and it's stretchy. But I just... I like to be comfy. And obviously I'm still growing. So this material feels really nice actually. So yeah, that is the orders I've got today. Everything's the same colour. Everything's this cream. Uh, I am going to put this on right now. So I will show you. Yep. Okay, can we make a quick pact that you guys aren't going to judge me for the mess in the background? I feel like I'm constantly and just apologising, but it's so hard when you're having the house decorated and everything has to be stored in your bedroom. <laughs> it looks like a lost luggage department. You wait. One day I'm going to come on here and I'm going to do a haul in this whole mirror. I'm going to take some banging pics and the background is going to be so clear. But for now, apologies. Don't judge me. We've all been there, right? And it's, it's the Christmas mayhem. Anyway, I'm just showing you what I've got on because it fits nicely, actually. This fits perfect. So this is the XL. And then the leggings fit really nice. They're probably a little tiny bit. Oh, I wish I put the blur emoji over with that. But they are a little bit big. And my problem with if I size up is my legs are quite just like long and gangly so there's quite a lot of loose material around the ankles but I'm happy with the amount of room that I've got on belly and obviously like I said I'm six months so gives me time to wear this throughout this is your sign to take a picture in front of your tree okay First being, if you are pregnant right now, because mums, we're gonna recreate this picture next year. Two, if you've just got a toddler, hold your toddler. If you just wanna hold your boyfriend, husband, if you just wanna keep it by yourself, do it. 
I'm gonna put some on the screen. They turn out so cute. Just think, obviously like key points in life like this, just even if it's just because it's Christmas, you know? I'm so out of breath. <laughs> Gaz just got home from work. We're going for dinner in a little while and then my uncle's here, he's painting. My wardrobe is getting there. I cannot wait. Obviously that is the main reason for the lost luggage department looking bedroom. But as soon as this wardrobe's done, it's just like operation sort my life out, you know? Um, there's a few more bits of my vintage, by the way. I will put the name on the screen. I think it's just Sydney May Crouch. And I'll put a link in the description. It is the next day. Sorry. But this has got me in full Christmas spirit because this is my Christmas wish for my wardrobe to be done. Which is nearly done. It's getting there. So... Let me show you the paint colour first because I've had so many questions on what colour we've gone for. So this is Nutmeg White, which I did actually mention in another vlog. I love it. I didn't actually swatch this, I can't believe it. I just literally winged it. And then normal white on the top of the walls, also along the wood. I don't know if you remember when I was weighing up how I want to do this room, but I've gone for industrial rails. So these aren't actually attached to the wall yet as you can see they're not screwed on but we've kind of we <laughs> leah's just kind of mopped them up just to see how it's going to look and i'm so happy with it because this is what i wanted just practicality i actually really like how it looks rochelle humes has this kind of vibe where it's just rails and then she has like drawers underneath and i'm going to be working with drawers with the rest of the space so I've got a really big chest of drawers that's going to go here and fill up this whole wall and then I want a nice mirror on, over the top. So I kind of want it to be pretty in here at the same time, but not like your standard obviously walking wardrobe vibes. I want it to be more like, Lee just said it, it looks like that London kind of shop vibe. It's not okay how out of breath I get now. Also, yes, you just saw that right. Christmas is literally two seconds away and I've broke a nail. I just, I don't care at this point. I literally don't care. I might even pull them all off, but I literally got these done this week. That's so annoying, isn't it? Anyways, breathe. So all the painting's done. Rails are being attached now. And then the big chest of drawers that's going down that end, which I'll show you once that's in place, is ready to come in. And then it's kind of just winging it with the rest of this room. I did want to see once all the clothes are on if it felt claustrophobic in here because i could always put i could always put rails on this side as well but i don't want it to feel like i'm literally like pigeon stepping so i'll see but we thought maybe we could do some shelves here or just like shelves on a certain part i was even thinking of having a dressing table here and i could have a mirror on the wall so where this is a listed building the rooms are really 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 odd shape i don't know if you can see on camera but this actually juts out a little bit, but it's just the shape of the rooms. <laughs> Can't be helped. I think it's just a wonky building, to be honest, but it's fine. But it means that it starts really narrow down here and then it gets quite a bit wider down here, which to be honest, I'm just going to make the most of because I could either have like a big mirror on the wall here for my outfit. So again, dressing table, have some more drawers down there. The only thing is this is obviously open-ended. I've gone for no door here. I just like how it keeps it like open and just, I don't know. I just didn't really fancy having a door. So that's what we're up to. I'm so happy with how it's looking. This is the, the color I love. It's just like the cream and the black. I just feel like it looks so cool. This is um, from Etsy. It was really affordable. So last time I done a wardrobe room, it was all the packs from ikea and it's still affordable if you want to do that walking style wardrobe but these just this set i did like kind of custom the measurements but you just literally measure how big your wall is and they send you all the poles i want to say this was like 250 pound but when i done my whole packs for them obviously you're getting a lot more parts but it cost around a thousand pound so just to give you an idea oh, my little christmas elf just came home with some Christmas flowers, which say Merry Christmas all over them. How adorable. You've not really been in my vlogmas. Come and say hi. Show your new haircut. You've got a hat on because 
Hey. It's the last vlog miss. Have you even been doing it? Yes. Wow. Hit and miss. <laughs> but I'm gonna go show you the wardrobe because it's done pretty much. It just needs obviously clothes in. Uh, we've just put the drawers in and a mirror, but I don't know if the mirror is gonna stay there. For now, it makes sense, but let's go downstairs. Well. Also, Christmas is coming. We've got loads of croissants to make. Ready for the grand reveal. Ta-da! So they are attached to the wall, attached to the floor, very, very sturdy. And then these are the drawers that are from Ikea, which I love. They're a little bit rickety. Quite pricey for Ikea, actually. These were like 250 I think. And yeah, they're a bit rickety, if I'm being honest. But I'm thinking I might put some kind of arch mirror. It's actually really tall drawers, but I just love the idea of as much storage as possible. They're very, very deep. And then they come out the perfect amount for the rails to start. And then these are my rails. So we're gonna see how I go with this for now. My idea is I'm gonna be a minimal queen from now on. So I'm gonna cut down a lot of clothes. And then I can't remember if I said this earlier, but if we're gonna have something else on here, whether it be shelves, um, and then there's always room here because you can buy from this company um, like smaller add-on pieces. So I could always get another set of rails there or put rails on the end here. But I've got just this mirror from IKEA, which I had in my old flat in here for now. But I kind of like the idea of having a mirror here. I'm very happy. And now I can put all the things that are in two cases in my bedroom in here. Actually, before I go, in case you haven't actually seen any of the last vlogs, I'm gonna put in pictures of what this was like before. So literally, if you've got a massive room that's a bit of an awkward shape, put up this wall. What is this wall called? Just a wall? It's a stud petition wall. Stud petition wall, there we go. And then you can separate the room instead of it being like a massive awkward shape. And I know obviously I could have just put wardrobes in, which would have essentially took up less room but it just makes the room feel like it's another room. Does that make sense? I'm very happy with it. Thank you, Lee. No worries, till next time. And just like that, that is the end of Vlogmas. I'm gonna wrap this video here. It is Christmas Eve and Cass is currently having a little nap because we're going out tonight. We've got birthday celebrations. It's his sister and dad's birthday, Christmas. So there's a lot of celebrations going on, not just Christmas. And I just wanna say thank you so much for all the love on my Vlogmas and I hope that you enjoyed. Sorry it was a bit hit and miss, but I tried my best and I'm really excited for a new year. I think that's my last video of 2022. But 2023 is gonna be the year. I'm so ex I've never been so excited to go into a new year, obviously. We've got the baby coming. I'm normally a little bit like, oh, a new year. And I see it as a bit of a, an emotional time, New Year's Eve. Because, not to be morbid, but it's like another year gone. And it's just the unknown. The, the unknown scares me. But, yeah, we obviously know what we're working towards in 2023. And, yeah, I'm just ready to say goodbye to 2022, to be honest. So thank you guys so much. I hope you have the best Christmas ever kiss and hug and spend so much time with all your loved ones tell them you love them life is so short and i love you all so much thank you for all the love this year and all the support i can't wait to see you guys in 2023 and we'll have a catch up in the new year love you guys bye <laughs>